Hey everyone, Spicy Toast Gaming here, coming at you with a bit of a different video. Uh, today I just wanted to discuss Orn. Now this isn't going to be a guide, although I will, will be going over his card as well as much of his kit. Um, I just wanted to talk about him, talk about how I think he is very important to be in Path of Champions, but some of the issues with his kit and how they should be addressed. So starting with the card itself, it's 7 cost. So that is the most expensive champion in Path of Champions. And so his whole deck is going to be a lot slower or more of a ramp deck. Now that, nothing wrong with that. Wish they had more of that in the game. Now Orn, if you're looking at him, play equip me with an exact copy of an ally's equipment or the strongest equipment in hand. And then attack, forge me twice. Now forge, that's the whole mechanic that he's built around. It's grant an ally 1-1 one, one. if the ally is equipped, grant it to their item instead. Now why that's important is if that ally then died, all of those buff stats would be on the equipment, which you then could put on someone else and make them much more powerful because they have all those bonus stats. So you're improving an ally, but it's not just the ally. So if something happens to them, all those bonuses aren't lost. Now, once someone attacks, once an ally is struck for 8 plus damage, he levels up. When he levels up, he now summons a Spirit of the Ram with his stats, in addition to his normal effects. So, the Spirit of the Ram, it has his stats, it's ephemeral, and it has Overwhelm. So, this is able to take all of those stats that you've been forging all game, and use it to destroy the enemy nexus. So Orn essentially works as your finisher. The deck is supposed to play out where you're forging up an equipment, you play Orn, and then he just destroys the Nexus. Now, his star powers, this is where things unfortunately start to fall apart. So game start, summon Orn's Forge. So your first power is you're summoning a landmark, and that's it. Now that landmark is going to create a time and dedication. So every round, it's going to create a fleeting one mana forge an ally. This already is an issue. While I get that it's somewhat thematic of, oh, you're summoning or Orn's Forge, it still is a problem gameplay because now you're reducing the amount of slots you have on board to five. And enemies can destroy your equipment so essentially, when you're fighting someone, they have the ability to destroy one of your star powers. That's pretty crazy. I don't think there's anyone else, any other champion, that really could have that same issue. I don't think there's any other star power that is reducing your board space on hand by always having to have Orn's Forge. That's just already poor design, especially when there's a power in game that just summons this every single round. So it does what Orn's Forge does, but without making that landmark. So the fact that there is a power in game that does this but better isn't great. So his two star, again, issues here. The first time you play an ally or equipment that costs four or more mana, manifest an equipment and reduce its cost by two. So this has to be an equipment or an ally, so if spells won't even work. So you don't get your first generated equipment until you play something that costs four or more mana. Again, there's other um, powers that are better than this. There's just a common power in game where it makes an equipment and reduces its cost by two at the start of the game. So there's common power that's better than your two star power. That is obviously a massive issue and something that should be addressed. His last star power, you summon the forge and now when you forge an ally, forge it again but only the first time. Again, we've seen people that have better versions of this. Varus was just released uh, this expansion and the first time his level 1 star power is the first time you play a spell 
copy it onto the strongest ally. His three star now no longer has that limitation. It's just every time you play a spell targeting an ally, target on the strongest ally. So again, you're reducing um, your star powers. You're having a star power that's just worse than the other star powers in the game that do a similar effect. Um, for his first one, you're making a fleeting one mana spell. For Viagar, every every round he makes a zero cost um, spell and it's not fleeting, so you can stack them up if you need it. Again, something that would improve him, not in a drastic way, not making him too OP, but just kind of bringing him in line with some of the other champions in the game. So if for some reason they wanted to keep that you don't get your first equipment until you play something four cost, that would be fine if you were able to maybe bank up a couple forges so that as soon as you played it, you could then forge it up and make it much more powerful. So there's so many issues and so many things that could get fixed to improve him, but there's just a lot of problems and unfortunately, we're not even done. So looking at his starting deck, a lot of his lower cards all are about forging. But you don't have anything to forge yet. You're playing all of these low level cards wanting to be able to forge something but you can't do it until at least four mana. So what are the cards you can use to forge? Well, there's Combat Cook, which is an improvised card. So it's gonna generate a equipment based on a pool of equipment. So you play a four mana card and now you suddenly have two equipment. So for most of the game, you didn't have anything to forge other than your allies. Now you suddenly have two equipment that you need to figure out which one are you going to try to focus on improving? Or are you going to have to try to spread your forges out? The next one for five mana, Bone Club. Again, you're playing an equipment, and then you're generating another equipment. So for most of the game, you don't have anything to forge, and then suddenly you have multiple things to forge. It feels pretty bad in game and really doesn't work well. And then there's times where you don't even draw these cards. The first card you get is Orn. That's over that four mana, and he doesn't have anything to copy. He is the card that's actually manifesting a new card in hand. But then it's not forged at all. So there's a lot of anti-synergies built into his kit, and it really causes a lot of problems when you're trying to play him. Now, he's still playable. You can still clear content with him. But there's just a lot of issues, and we've seen a lot of better design in most other champions. So it'd just be nice for the design team to be able to go over and improve just some small touch-ups. We don't need him to be overpowered. We just need him to actually synergize with his game plan. And right now, it's really not happening. Combat Cook, I think, should be replaced and you either get a cheap equipment at the start of the game or a cheap unit that can improvise. Um, Combat Cook could be replaced with Kindly Tavern Keeper, so it's another um, four cost that can heal your Nexus to give you a bit more sustain to help with that ramp. Orn is very important. I think the most important part of any champion added to Path of Champions is just giving you a new unique experience that they play different than every other champion and that's one reason why i really like orn he is the only champion that's really a late game ramp um, seven cost champion and his whole play style of trying to forge up an equipment making a badass item that then you throw on orn and he destroys nexus with that is fun and so we don't need him to be faster, we just need his deck to actually work with each other. So that his game plan of how he's supposed to work, you can tell from his star powers how they wanted him to play. They wanted you to get an equipment and forge it up throughout the game until you play Orn. That would be fun. And Orn is great and he can be amazing. 
Again, I don't want him to be the most overpowered champion. I just want him to be playable and for him to work and have synergies within his own kit instead of his kit fighting itself. Definitely let me know down below what you guys think of Orn, what you think of this more of a discussion video. I hope you guys have a great day. Thank you so much for watching that video. We're putting out daily content for Path of Champions, so if that interests you, please like, subscribe, hit that notif notification bell, and comment down below. We're just starting out here on YouTube, trying to grow the channel, so any help is greatly appreciated. Thank you, and have a great day.